If the client doesn't have the means to get the housing that he needs, tell him not to worry about it. Tell him the Welcome Fund covered it. They're going to repossess my car, and I'm not going to be able to get to school. I'm going to mess everything all up again. I'm a hard worker. I want to be a good mom. The globe is most unkind when we determine that someone's life holds more value than another person's. It's the start of unkindness. We need to protect the rights of the smallest minority because in doing that, we're protecting our own rights. That's what the Constitution is reminding us. Stand up for each other. The hate that exists in this country could be our destruction or it could be our clarion call. What country is she in? She is right now in Ethiopia. Horrific things happen to refugees. Most of the people that we are resettling have fled violent outbursts of civil war, ongoing conflict. Some of those people are traumatized. And how do you help such people? I'm Sari Cohen with Hollywood First Look Features. Joining me today are John Hoffman and Kahane Cooperman, the directors and producers of The Antidote. Um, I have to say, wow. First of all, <laughs> I watched the documentary and it was so beautiful. I cried during every segment. <laughs> Kahane, let's start with you. So tell me, describe for viewers, what is The Antidote? When John and I first started making this film, we had just one word to start with, and it was kindness. And it was a blank slate, and it was two and a half years ago, and frankly, a time when it really felt to both of us like civility was just crumbling beneath us. And it, it felt terrible. And we also didn't feel like it was really representative of like the country that we've both, you know, that we've grown up with, the, the people that we know. And it just was worth exploring through this lens of kindness because we think kindness is more of a reflection of the majority of people than, than, than not. And so we really did start with that one word. And um, after, much thinking and discussions and reading and reaching out to people, uh, we came up with um, the way we thought we could make a film that's about kindness and not kindness, can, you know, the, in the, the soft interpretations of it, which are lovely, but kindness as kind of a fierce tool. In America, why will people be still sleeping on the street? You take too, too good care of me, you really do the first piece of capital that we all need as humans is trust. How did you actually pick the stories that you were going to tell? We knew that we had to get, get some parameters, give it, this challenge some parameters. And Connie mentioned we were doing a lot of thinking and talking, and we came up with a series of questions that we felt if the film could sort of answer these questions, we would be um, doing something important, hopefully. Um, which are, how do we raise our children? How do we teach our children? How do we take care of the sick and the dying? How do we live and work together? How do we welcome the stranger? And how do we lead? And we feel that these questions sort of cover the lifespan and all the worlds that we move through. And they're such simple questions, but um, they really make you start looking at the world around you and the ways in which people are making decisions to, what we say, lift others up. Very intentional choices to lift others up. Mm -hmm. And then Charlottesville happened. And we felt like, you know what? We live in a world that is really, really unkind. Um, and there's tremendous hatred um, that uh, is in this world. And so we really thought about um, how anything, any story we wanted to tell had to be about people who are not only lifting others up, but they're doing it sort of uh, in response to these fundamental unkindnesses, which are that it's fundamentally unkind to not have a safe place to sleep, to not have access to healthcare, to not be paid a living wage, and to be at the effect of, of racism and sexism and homophobia it's just fundamentally unkind. So it's through that, those questions and those um, unkindnesses that we then started looking at programs that are, are, are really worth sort of shining a spotlight on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
Um, so I do want to talk about, obviously, we are in the middle of probably one of the most important elections of our lifetime. Why should everybody see the antidote before casting their vote this year? No matter who you are, or perhaps who you voted for in the last election, or who you're planning on voting for now, um, during these divisive times, that it's really good to be reminded of what unifies us and what's important on a daily basis and what makes the communities we live in stronger, no matter where you live, who you vote for, who you are, like the common denominator of all of us is that I think we're all very capable of this. Um, in terms of, you know, seeing this film before the election, I think, you know, we always, John and I always looked at each other throughout the making of this film to, to, and said, you know, God, we want people to see this film and say like, this is who we are, you know? And so I do feel like this is who we are and this is who we can be. And I feel like it's great to be reminded of that or um, uh, realize it about yourself and the way you're navigating the world at any time, but maybe before you're, you're casting your vote for, you know, what the next four years and more might look like. John, what do you think? Well, this this notion of um, who we can be, um, I think, is um, something that we ask ourselves with every presidential election. Um, and we were asking ourselves that question you know, long before. This film was not made in a time when you know we were even thinking about um, primaries, let alone a general election. Um, so. But I think that it is important, it's coming out at a really crucial time, and I'm very glad that you're asking that question. Um, because who we can be um, is, I think, really at the core of um, this country and our democracy and our unique democracy in the world. That we, you know, we do have a, a, a peaceful transition of power every four years that is voted on by the people. So it is an expression of who we can be, who we want to be. I saw so much of who we can be in this film. Thank you both for bringing this to life. Everybody needs to see The Antidote. It's available in virtual cinemas and video on demand. I'm Sari Cohen, see you next time. I wanna make a change and I want our generation to be an aspect of that change. Putting time and practice into family, love, being a good neighbor. Stand if you have ever gone to a study session and you or someone brought food. Stand if you have ever lent or borrowed a textbook. The single most important thing for us all is caring for your fellow man. If you have that in your arsenal, you can do just about everything. Stand if you helped a fellow student out with encouragement, direction, accountability, or even love. We all are here today because we all helped each other. We need to be kind, respectful, and responsible within society to live in a civil democracy. I think it's the glue that holds us together. It's just really important because without kindness, we'd all be maniacs.